Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter Up Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, two things. The first being that I might sound like I have a lisp, and that's only because I finally got my root canal semi done. Um, and I've been on pain meds for like the past couple of days because it's been like serious pain. But um, yeah, it doesn't hurt as much, but it is bothersome to close my mouth all the way. So um, I might sound like I have a lisp. And then the second thing is I'm a little bit blind right now because I don't have my glasses on um, because there is sort of a glare. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's like a glare. Um... There was a really bad glare, but then I put on my ring light, and now you can see the ring light in it, so I'm just not going to wear the glasses. But I also want to share with you guys some new glasses that I got in the mail from Firmal, and I think I've talked about them before on this channel, but um, it came in this little envelope here. I'm not going to show you the other side because it has my address, obviously. But um, it came packaged like this. So here's the bag. It's a gray eyeglass case that just says Firmal.com, and I've ordered from Firmal before. Um, I have gotten like three pairs of glasses from them before my favorite pair are these um and unfortunately these are not prescripted i wish they were but i didn't have a, my prescription at the time but um these were the first pair that i got from them and they're so cute the inside has like rose detailing and i just i love these glasses let me show you guys what they look like on um i love these glasses like so much they're just not prescripted and um the crazy thing is i can see a little bit better out of these glasses even though they don't have a prescription in them which i know that sounds weird but for some reason it works um but i do want to try to get these prescripted because i really really like the way these look on my face um the next pair that i have you guys have seen me wear plenty of times um and oh no not those <laughs> it's the black and white ones which you know they're black and white very classic and chic really simple um black on the outside white on the inside and then the previous new ones that i got were this like purple shade but they're like translucent purple they're really cute um and simple i like those but i saw these on website and um I, I just, I had to get it. I requested it. Um, well, they actually contacted me to see if I wouldn't mind doing another review for them, and I totally was with it because I love Firmal. Um, their glasses are affordable, and they work wonders for me. So, inside of the case, it came like this, inside of this clear case. Now, I don't like this case. I prefer this one that they sent me a while ago, but um, now they have, like, these clear cases, I guess. But um, it came wrapped up like this. And on the inside, let me just take everything out. Okay, so I think this is my receipt. I don't ripped up the little baggie. But on the bag, it just has this... Here, I don't know what that is. But um, let's see, what is this? What is this? Okay, nope, that's nothing important for you guys. But um, yeah, inside you get a cloth. And normally the cloth is like a basic gray cloth. But this time, they sent me a Thanksgiving one. And it just says, Happy Thanksgiving with the pumpkins and the fall leaves. And I think it's so cute. I love it so much. And then on the other side, it just says, Firmal. Love it. Um, and then also inside, you get, with all of the glasses that you get from Firmal, they send you the double-ended screwdriver as well as the screws. So I have several of these, which works wonders. I keep one on my keys, actually. And then I also got a bunch of um, coupon codes. So the code I will actually link down below. You can get an exclusive 50% off of your glasses from them. And they have some really great glasses. Um, they also do BOGO, buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free. Um, obviously, some glasses will be a little bit more... Um, well made than others depending on the price range but I've never had a problem with any of their glasses like at all um, the most I think I've had a problem with is that like they were a little bit bendy but that was only with these like they stretched out easily like I could bend them easily like that is what I mean but the other ones I've gotten from them nothing but um so these are the glasses they're so cute oh my gosh so they remind me of the black and white ones but this one is just black with pink and I've been loving these so much they are a little bit smaller but i really really like the way these look they're just stunning and i'm actually probably gonna wear these because these are not giving a glare so yeah 
these are prescriptive i do have my prescription in them but um yeah i love these glasses so much and i talked about formal for like five minutes but i mean like come on um they're cute they're affordable and they work for me um i have not had any problems with them as far as shipping i will say shipping can be a hassle so i would definitely say if you're going to order from them definitely do um shipping with tracking um and try to do the one that's quicker because if you do the standard shipping it will take forever uh one of the glasses that i ordered from them before it took forever <laughs> to arrive so i've learned my lesson that if i want my glasses immediately um definitely get the one that has tracking as well as the quickest shipping and if you really don't care when you get your glasses just standard shipping is fine but i've never had a problem with my glasses coming broken or the prescription being wrong everything is always correct um and their customer service is pretty good as well so i'll leave a link down below to these glasses if i can find them as well as the other ones if i can find them and also to the website with the coupon code down below but let me mix up my tea quickly you guys know what kind of tea I'm drinking, right? My pumpkin spice, hearty spice tea. Um, the black tea from Bigelow. Literally, this has been my coffee for the year. Um, and I, it's not coffee, but like, if you, I don't know if you guys will be able to see the color. It's like a, it looks almost like coffee. I showed it to you guys in one of my book reviews that I did. Um, but yeah, it's, it's my new favorite drink, like, for real. When I don't want coffee, that is the wave, and I literally make sure to have a cup or two of that every morning. Um, sorry if you guys hearing noise upstairs. My landlords are doing something upstairs. But let's get into this haul. So the first book I'm going to show you guys has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with Christianity. But I was so stoked to get this. My fiance actually purchased this for me. I was oh, I really wanted it anyway. Like I was going to get it anyway, my mother and I. But now we only have to get one copy for her. But it's Becoming Michelle Obama. And let me scoot over. So, Becoming Michelle Obama. I love my first lady. She might not so she might not be the first lady anymore, but she will forever be my first lady. I love her so much. Her style, the way she carries herself, her character. Um, just everything about her is so phenomenal. So, I was so excited to get this from my fiance when he told me that he was going to get it from me. Like, so excited. I love that there are pictures included in this. I mean... She has lots of pictures of her and Obama and her children and I'm just, I'm excited to dive into this book so much and like really highlight and get a lot of nuggets from her. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because that had nothing to do with the point of this haul. But um, okay, so now on to the actual, you know, Christian book. So of course we're starting off with Joyce Meyer. I will say this every video, and I know some of you guys be like, it's okay not to say it, but um, I'm going to say it anyway every video anytime I have Joyce Meyer products. If you do not like Joyce Meyer, that is okay. I am not pushing you to like Joyce Meyer. I am not forcing you to like Joyce Meyer. I like Joyce Meyer. I find nothing wrong with listening to her. There's nothing wrong with listening to any Christian speaker as long as you're going later on to do the research and studying the word for yourself. So now that that's out of the way, if you have anything negative to say, I will remove your comments because some people can just be really rude and negative with their comments. There's a difference between constructive comments and just straight up nasty rude comments. So if you give me a rude comment that is just unacceptable, it will be deleted and you will be blocked, point blank. But um, anyway... First thing I got was the resource of the month, which is from her Confident Woman devotional. This is for the month of September? No, October. So I'm excited to check this out. Um, I did receive the other one before, and I gave it to my mom. So we'll see how I like this one. And then I got two, like, audio stuff from her. So the first one is called Burnt But Not Bitter. How to Move Past Your Pain and Into New Beginnings. This just, it, yeah, Burnt But Not Bitter and... It kind of reminds me of, I don't know what the song is, but it's like when you walk through the fire, but you don't smell like smoke. I don't know what song that is. If you guys know what song I'm talking about, let me know. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. I like that because we all go through hurt, but we don't have to live with that hurt. We don't have to be scorched by that hurt. Um, so I really, really like this. It's just, I want to listen to it so bad. Um, this retails for $19. It is three teachings on a CD. It's two and a half, basically three hours is what I'm going to say. So, yeah, it's three hours. It's... Burnt but not bitter. Don't waste your pain and let your test become your testimony. So there are the three CDs. I think that's phenomenal. 
So that's that. And then I have this one, which is the parables applying Jesus' timeless lessons to everyday life. So, yeah, we have that. And this one retails for $36. It's five teachings um, on um, a CD, which is five hours long, and then two DVDs, which are two hours long. So that is pretty cool. Um, I will say mine's came a little bit beat up and cracked, but I've noticed that they don't have a problem uh, fixing that for you guys. So included is this little study booklet, which is like so tiny. It's super, super tiny and cute. But um, yeah, there's a study booklet and it goes through the different parables and it has questions for you to fill out. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's still cute and compact. So here I believe are the DVDs. So oh, here is the DVD, and then the CD starts with one, and then two, three, four, five. So I'm excited to jump into this um, because I really like learning about the parables. I never really understood the parables as a kid. Like the parables just like flew way over my head. Like the parable of the sower um, with the seeds that used to fly over my head until I studied Luke and like really understood it and was like wow as well as the parable of the prodigal son um that used to fly over my head too and now i understand it so i'm excited to dive into those okay so moving on i only have three companies i got books from this month um well in november so the first is from bethany house so i have two here I don't even remember if I hauled these or not in the last video, so I'm just going to share these two. I don't remember, but um, these are from Baker Books. This is the Basics for Be Basics for Believers, the Core of Christian Faith and Life. It's a study of Philippians from D.A. Carson, and I have so many books on Philippians. We're actually going to be studying Philippians with Daughter of Increase for 2019, so I'm excited about that. But um, yeah, we have this one. And then I have this one, which is Jesus' Sermon on the Mount and His Confrontation with the World. It's a study of Matthews 5 through 10 um, from D.A. Carson as well. So it's just a study on the Sermon on the Mount. And I'm excited to dive into this. I'm not really sure if there's like questions or anything. It doesn't seem to be questions, but um, lots of points and scripture. And yeah, it looks good. It looks like it's going to be a good read. So. And I have yet to read or study the Sermon on the Mount. Um, I'm, I just, there's something with the book of Matthews. I think chapter one in Matthews just turns me off with that really, really long genealogy. Um, yeah, I don't, it's long, you know, but it is what it is. So I need to dive into Matthew soon. Um, and then we have this, which is a Christian fiction novel, apparently. But it's a romantic suspense. Um, which I'm excited about. It is called Mind Games by Nancy Mel Mahel. Um, it's the first book in the Kay Kylie Quinn profiler. So this is a romantic sus romantic suspense, and I'm really not into suspense or thriller novels, but I'm really trying to expand because I normally stick to like romance, fantasy, paranormal type of novels. That's just what I like, but I'm really trying to broaden my um, my reading genres into the more adult fictional uh, suspense and thrillers and mysteries and stuff. I'm not a horror person, just never will be. I, horror and Shanae don't go go together. If you don't know, my name is Shanae. I just go by Nay. But um, yeah, so we have this and I'm excited to dive into this and really see what this is about. Um, it follows the FBI behavior behavioral... <laughs> can't speak with this list um analysis analyst oh my god i cannot talk <laughs> you guys i'm sorry this list and everything is just ridiculous it follows kylie quinn who is an fbi behavioral analyst right yes okay in st louis and bodies found with poems and a special agent named Noah Hunter, and that's really all I know. I don't want to know much about it because this is a new genre for me. So I want to go to into this not knowing much, just the basics. So I know there's a guy named Noah Hunter. I know there's a woman named Kylie Quinn. They have they work with the FBI, and that's there's dead bodies with poems. It's pretty much all I know. But um, yeah, that is from Bethany House. So moving on to B and H. I got this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous book, which is Sacred Holidays by Becky Kaiser. Becky Kaiser, I think, and it's called Less It's Less Chaos, More Jesus. So she really goes through the different holidays, and um, this is more of an interactive book, which I really, really like. 
um, because there's like things that you can do beforehand, questions you can answer. I love interactive books. Um, I just feel like they really allow you to learn a lot more about yourself, about the context of the book, and much more. So she goes through New Year's, Valentine's Day, Lent and Easter, Summer, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Advent and Christmas, and birthdays. Um, the common struggles about them and so forth. So I'm actually going to be reading this, um, chapter 9, for Christmas and Advent. So I am excited. Let's see what there is for that, if there's any activities in here. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> just trying to see. So she gives you Bible study ideas. Talks about Advent candles. Um... The calendar. Yeah, there is something in the back. Um, Make it your sacred holiday, which gives you, it talks about um, ideas you heard that might make this holiday more meaningful. What has worked for you, what hasn't worked, what do you want to try in the future. And then um, some struggles about it, and she tells you what chapters to read. So, yeah, I'm going to read chapter 9 for the Christmas holiday season. The next one is by Brent Crow. Crow, 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 crow. I don't know. Let me guys, let me know. But it's called Moments Till Midnight, and um, it's the final thoughts of a wandering pilgrim. I believe this is about Second Timothy, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not, yeah, this is um about Second Timothy, um, so Paul's letter to Paul's letter to Timothy, basically, and um, that that's really all I know. It just goes through that. <laughs> so, yeah. The next book is called What About Kids Ministry? Practical Answers to Questions About Kids Ministry. Edited by Bill Emiotz. Emiotz? I don't know. But um, I thought this was cool because I do. we do have like children's ministry at my church. And I do want to get more involved in children's ministry with my church sometime next year. Um, as well as I do Bible studies with my siblings. And I want to do a lot more Bible studies with my son. So I thought this would be a good book for me to read for myself and for my church. Then I have two children's book. This one is called Who Sang the First Song by Ellie Holcomb. Holcomb? Um, I love the artwork in this book, you guys. The artwork is so stunning. Like, my son and I fell in love with this artwork and I was reading it with him. I just, I think the artwork is beautiful. This one here, oh my god, do you see the little cutie pie right here? She is just adorable with her little buns and her hair. Um, This probably was one of my favorite ones. The artwork in this book is just stunning. It's a really quick read, but um, the artwork is really what does it for my son and I. We love it. The next one I have is called Who's Your Daddy? Discovering the Awesomest Daddy Ever by Lisa and Missy Harper. Illustrations by Olivia Duchess. And um, she cute. That's all I can say about it. She's so cute. And it's about her being adopted. So um, Missy is adopted. It says Missy is adopted and although she doesn't have a daddy here on earth, she's learning more about the awesomest God. I mean, the awesomest daddy of all, which is God. So, yeah, it just it's really gorgeous. I really enjoy the artwork in this one as well. So, we have that. Alright, moving on to the last company I got books from, which is Thomas Nelson. Through Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, which they work together with the, um, what is it called? <laughs> the Book Look Bloggers. And, um... The first book I need to talk about is from a group of people that I love. This couple is one couple that I've loved ever since I first saw them in Medea's Family Reunion. I love their, vo their vocals. I love their acting. I love their spirit in them as a couple. So I had to grab their book and they had it for review on the website. So I requested it and it's Us Against the World by David and Tamela Mann. I love them so much. If you guys don't know who these people are, get your life together um they're in a lot of tyler perry plays and movies i love them so much they are amazing and samuel man is a gospel singer um they're just so amazing i would love to meet them in person but um yeah this is their secrets to love marriage and family what i like about this book is that it's completely interactive um like there are little questions at the end of each chapter 
and sometimes they have like little games you can play I don't remember what chapter it was that I, I came across where they had like a little game that you could play with your significant other but um yeah they give you prayers they give you activities to do they give you questions um to discuss and things like that and I just I really really like interactive books like I said I love books that allow you to be interactive with the text because um it allows you to really be able to connect with the authors connect with the characters connect with the whole point of this the, the book um and just feel like you're really getting something out of it instead of just reading which is why I always annotate and write in my books I like interacting with the text so yeah I have this and she's gorgeous and um yeah yeah just I, I love Tamala and David man that's all I'm gonna say I love them. So the next one is from Priscilla Shia's brother and Tony Evans' son, which is Anthony Evans. It's his book and it's called Unexpected Places, Thoughts on God, Faith, and Finding Your Voice. So this is his story um, about becoming a singer and dealing with being a PK kid and living kind of sort of in his father's shadow and his sister's shadow um, and just trying to maneuver in Hollywood as a Christian. I loved it. It was gorgeous. Um, it was a quick read for me, so I do need to go through and reread this. There are images in the book. I love his music so much, so much, so much. So I'm excited to go back into this and, of course, annotate and highlight and all that stuff. The next three are all children's books. Um, I don't know what it is this month. Just was a month for children's books. But that's okay because I do want to, like I said, work with children again I used to work with children a lot when I was younger um, doing like summer camps and after-school programs and stuff like that but I do want to get more active with the kids at my church as well as just have things for my son because I we are a Christian obviously and I want him to really understand who God is um, and prayerfully my future children I do pray to have at least one or two more kids in the future God willing but um the first one is love does for kids this is the illustrated version so this is by Bob Goff I own love does the ebook by him but I've never read it but this is the children's version so I got it and yeah the illustrations are cute they're like really just short stories um, by him and his daughter I think it is yeah Lindsay Goff and him and his daughter so have that then we have Billy Graham's uh, good, I mean, sorry, God's Good News, and it's illustrated by Scott Wakefield. This is more than 60 Bible stories and devotions. So it's stories and devotions from the Bible, and I really do enjoy them. Um, my son and I have read through this, I think, right? No, we have not. Not this one. I thought we read through this one. I think we read through a different one. We have so many devotionals. It's, like, unbelievable. But what, basically what it is is you get a topic... Um, a subtopic then where your kind of reading is from they give you the text but what I really love about this you guys is that this is actually in the New King James translation and I am all for the New King James translation a lot of like children books don't use a New King James they use the CSB or the NIV or the NLT this one specifically uses the New King James alone if I'm not mistaken let me just double check on that Yep, scripture quotations are taken from the New King James Version. So, I love that. Whereas this one here, I think, let me see which one is this taken from. It doesn't even say. This one doesn't include scriptures, I don't think. But, um, there are, like, other books that I've read for kids that don't use the New King James. And I just, I love that this one strictly uses the New King James, especially since I prefer that translation and I love it for myself. But, um, yeah, you basically get your text from the Bible, your topics, your subtopic, and then a devotional here. So, I love it. My son is going to love it. I personally love it. And, um, you know, I read children's devotionals just because, you know, we all have that little kid inside of us. So, I read them. Um, and the last one, I can't remember if I hauled this one either just because my brain... It's all over the place. But um, it's Jesus Calling the Story of Christmas by Sarah Young. And this is just a children's um, devotional by Sarah Young for Christmas time. And I did start reading this with my son. We are enjoying this. We read the first devotional um, a couple days ago. So we need to start over. But um, pretty much it just looks like this. You get a scripture, beautiful illustration, devotional, 
I mean, you get some text about, you know, the pictures and the scripture and then your devotional here. So, um, I don't even know. This one, yeah, see, this one uses the ICB, the NLT, the NASB. So, I like that this one uses a different, like, a bunch of different translations. But, um, I prefer the God's Good News by Billy Graham because it uses the different names. But, that's pretty much all the books that I got for the month of November. I think December might be a little bit more fun. So, we'll see, um, come January you know what, what's going on i am doing book clubs for 2019 as well as bible studies i've already planned everything out so i'm going to have a more in-depth video for you guys on that because we will be doing six bible studies and six book clubs um i have everything mapped out for the year of 2019 for daughter of increase thank god um if you want immediate access to all of the information join the facebook group um, I also have a band account or a band group that I created. It's basically an app that's kind of like a texting app. Um, so I'll leave links down below to where you can join the band, where you can basically stay up to date. I will post it on, I guess, Twitter and Instagram as well. So just check all of those social media sites for all the information on the upcoming book clubs. I can tell you the first book for January is going to be The Ruth Anointing, and the first Bible study for January is going to be on the book of Ephesians. So just letting you guys know that <laughs> I will have more information on that and I also have a reading challenge a 52 week reading challenge I am going to be doing so I'll have more information on that stuff within the coming weeks so stay tuned for that and if you guys want to see reviews on any of these let me know I can definitely do that and I'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.